As a pediatric surgeon with emphasis in the neonatal intensive care unit, I'm constantly being exposed to ethical dilemmas at the start of the life cycle. Younger and younger and smaller and smaller babies are being resuscitated, and that limit's being pushed on a yearly basis. We are a formal collaboration between our medical school and our law school. We have world-renowned philosophers who have also joined us, but we particularly are proud of the fact that we draw on a very rich clinical tradition. We have one of the oldest, one of the most robust of the bioethics consultation services in the country, and we draw upon that in a lot of our teaching. The most exciting part of our program is really what happens in the classroom. It's as if you light a fuse and the conversation ignites. Yesterday we were talking about mental health and we had a physician talking about his experience with non-compliant patients and how frustrating it is. We had a mental health lawyer talking about how, you know, how people are considered under the law. Um, we had a hospice nurse who's dealt one-on-one -on -one with these patients and we had a patient advocate who has been on the patient's side and seen what it's like to be under the treatment of a frustrated physician. Um, we were talking about all these different viewpoints yesterday and Tia said, this is too fascinating, we have to get back to the topic. The ethical training helps you address your own values and confront your own values so that you can look at ethical dilemmas objectively and try to maintain that objectivity in dissecting out the problem um, and attempting to resolve ethical issues. As an undergraduate, I went abroad to Tanzania to work with underserved populations that would never see healthcare or receive healthcare without our intervention. I saw a lot of ethical issues taking place that I, I was concerned about dealing with um, if I became a physician and worked in the profession. I think a prospective applicant from my age group should be aware that even though there are people from a much different background and much further advanced in their careers, that it's, it's possible, the support is there, and it's a huge enrichment to you to be around these people that are professionals already. It's stimulating at multiple levels. My personal growth, my growth as a surgeon, my growth as a surgical educator. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful program.